Ah, it's March 1st and today's the annual fishing derby put on by the Wakefield Rec Department. I'm standing right here with uh, Parks and Rec Director Wayne Robinson. And Wayne, uh, how many years you've been doing this anyway? This is the sixth annual. Wow, so you've been doing a lot. Now, what's the turnout? Uh, I know last year we did a, a video on it. It's still online. You can still watch it. It was fun with the kids and stuff. Um, you know, how's the turnout this year? Turnout is good. We have 203 people registered, which is about uh, 20 more than we had last year. Wow, so it seems to be growing every year. Um, it looks like you've got some fish on the board already there. I mean, it's early. It's only about 2 o'clock. And uh, uh, what do you think is going on so far? You look like it's got some pretty big specimens there. Yeah, we do. We have some good quality fish. Um, I'd say right now we have better quality fish than we had all of last year. Uh, plus, everybody knows that the fish need to be weighed in. We're unplugging the scale at 4 o'clock, all done weighing fish. So they're bringing them in sooner, which is good. Um, and the fish are bigger, which is nice. We changed a couple of the rules, which uh, has made a big difference on bigger fish as well. Okay, well, you know, speaking of rules, I know there was uh, quite a process to putting this together. Can you just give us a synopsis of what you have to go through? It seems to me there's some state regulations and things like that. Yeah, we, uh, we have to apply for a permit from the state and wait for that to come back. Um, can't do any lake trout. Only people that can do lake trout are ones that have done it forever and are already grandfathered in. Um, and can't do any bass. No bass are allowed in any winter tournaments anywhere uh, for the state. And other than that, really, it's just uh, the regular fishing regulations, and uh, we'd be, you know, everything's good after that. Yeah, and uh, maybe taking a little further. I mean, if people are watching this and they say, "Geez, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to try it next year," uh, what's the process you go through to to sign up and to, you know, and, and is it open to all ages, stuff like that? Yeah, it's open to all ages. We have uh, some people that aren't even fishing registered because we have. We have quite a few door prizes as well as the regular fish prizes, um, but we just start taking registrations and we can advance. Yesterday we did about 80 registrations alone in the afternoon, um, so it's, you know, the forms, we have them here. You can't do it online. We don't have the forms online, but you have to call here. We're open late. Um, during this week, so we're able to register everybody. And it's vacation week for school prior to the Derby, which works out for getting everybody signed up earlier as well. Wow, now, I mean, is this primarily a Wakefield event, or are there limitations and so forth with this, or can anybody just come by, come by and, uh, or is it limited to Wakefield Lakes? That's a question key to mind, too. Sure. Um, there's four lakes involved, Pine River Pond, Great East Lake, Level Lake, and Balch Pond. And anybody can enter, any age, any state, um, as long as they have a New Hampshire license. We had people here at 4.30 this morning from Mass um, Manchester with a motorhome, and there were six or seven guys in the motorhome ready to go. Wow, they're really into it, that's for sure. Now, you mentioned prizes. How does that work? Well, we get a lot of donations. Probably this year we didn't have as many donations, but we had um, some different places like Kittery Trading Post, Coyote Creek, and uh, Newt's Trading Post gave us some real good deals on some stuff that we ended up having to buy. Uh, but we did get some donations still from Kittery as well as spent some money there. Um, Long Metal Farm and Home Supply made a great donation. And um, Poor People's Pub... Profile Bank, Tumble Down Farm, and uh, Kittery, Trade, Kittery Trade and Post, and uh, Naughty Pine. Wow, so it really sounds like the local businesses are really behind this and kind of giving back to the community through the, the these prizes that they donate. And, I mean, uh, the smiles on these kids' faces when they bring these fish in is just uh, priceless, don't you think? Oh, it's great. You know, I, I felt bad earlier, but we had a bunch of kids come in first thing with fish and felt bad earlier. A little boy was out here crying because he didn't have first place. He only had second. And his fish didn't have first place by four hundredths of a pound. Wow. Well, I'm I'm sure he had a great time and and better luck next year. Although uh, it's still early, it's still early. We still got uh, a while for those fish to come in. All right, now first of all, okay, we've got we've got lo what looks like a winning fish here. What's your name? Austin. Your name's Austin. And did you catch that fish? Yes. Wow. And you really, boy, you got some other big ones there, don't you? I didn't catch the cusk though. I didn't really catch the cusk. My auntie caught the cusk. Okay, your auntie caught the cuss. Now, who's this next to you here? Um, my dad. Hi, my name's Paul, and we're having a great day out on Level Lake today. Wow, and you, you've caught some uh, nice big fish here. You're spending some time with your, your son here. Yes, sir. And uh, what do you think about this? 
We're having a good day. This is what, uh, you know, it's not a whole lot to do in the winter time, but, uh, you know, if, if you can brave the cold and get out early enough and get some of these good fish, you know, these are things that, you know, I never forget doing them with my family, and I hope that he's not going to forget doing them with me. And uh, Austin and I got a lot of fishing to do. That's right, buddy. And you're making memories, aren't you? We sure are. And hey, that's what it's all about out here with my uncle, with his, him and his uncles, and, you know, family out on the ice. Can't beat it. Anticipation is building here. You got a young man that's uh, got a trap that the flag's gone up. And it looks like there's an awful lot of support here, here uh, backup support. Maybe it's a big one. We're hoping. Oop, here comes the line. Here we go. Oh, Hold it right up. Hold it right up. Holy rat. Oh, man, look at that. That's a derby. That's up of the night right That's it. That's it. Now, how are you guys today? Let me go around here and talk to each one of you a little bit. Now, what time did you get out here this morning? Oh, around noon time, I'd say. Around noon. What's your name? Uh, Chris. Chris. And is uh, are you uh, with this group? Uh, no, you're... the group down there that's actually oh. catching fish. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another group that you're with, and they're actually catching fish there. What, what size uh, fish you got down here? Uh, we didn't really measure them yet. Uh, decent size rainbow, decent size pickerel. Cusk. You're in a 19 and a half inch pickerel. Yep. Well, let's, let me go over here and uh, get between these two guys here. Uh, what's your name, sir? They call me Puma. Okay, and uh, you're out here supporting... Uh... I was out here early. I was the first one out here. Me and Dave here were the first ones out here this morning, and uh, we haven't caught nothing yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good day. Jimmy Keaton, how are you doing, Jim? Uh, I heard uh, from Wayne that, uh, as usual, your uh, business in town, a pub, is supporting this event with some prizes? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, you, you guys do a lot of support in the community, and we certainly appreciate it. Um, have you got some traps in yourself? No, I, I'm not fishing. I'm just here hanging out with the guys. And uh, just we were enjoying a little bit of sunshine, but now it's clouded up, of course. Yep. And uh, it's getting a little chilly, but Helen Joy, well, Helen Smith, has been making us some chili, and it's been a fun day on the lake. And, it, and you can see, you look around, there's a lot of people out here. You're absolutely right. Um, and your, your name, sir? Dave. Dave? I was with, look with right Puma. Yeah, look yeah. right There you go, Dave. Yeah. Uh, now, you're uh, with this group, and have you caught any fish today? No, we, me and Puma were out here the first thing this morning and haven't caught anything. <laughs> Just cold. Caught cold? <laughs> Actually, it's pretty balmy today, don't you think? I mean, I think it was up to 30 degrees. I mean, that's great. Yeah. Yep. Well, here comes some more people on a on a uh, snowmobile, and uh, there's cars and trucks out on the ice out here. Hey, by the way, Jimmy, how thick is this ice out here? Two and, and a half got? feet. Two and a half feet. Wow. Yep. Let me tell you a little story, though. This morning, about quarter past six, I got up. Well, I was up, but I got up out, and I heard people coming out here. It was two and a, two below zero, and there were people just pouring onto the lake. I was amazed, really, because it was cold. And, you know, and by 8 o'clock, it was 11. And, you know, they're a pretty hardy group out here. Yeah. Well, you know, they have this, I think Wayne said this is the sixth year they've done this. And it, the, the best part for me about it, it's a family event. You've got kids and adults and everybody comes out and has a great time, don't you think? The, definitely, definitely. And this year they got a good year for a lot of ice. And the weather, yeah, everything's cooperating for them. So it's wonderful. Speaking with Paul Bruce, and he's been kind enough to give us an overview of just the process that you go through to do some ice fishing. You know, if you're watching and you say, you know, that's something I'd really like to do with my kids next year, Paul's going to tell us how you go about it. Paul, what's the, what, do you, what goes on here? When we you got go? a flag. I, I would love to stay here and talk to you, but I think it's time for us to catch a fish. Do you want to come see if we can get it? Yeah, yeah, we'll come back to this. Oh, it's a bad one. This is a bad one. No good. No, but uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay. We've got a flag. We got a flag, and if you can look down here, you can see how this is moving. So we know that there's a fish on the end of here. We're gonna take. I time. see, because the reel is moving, so something is pulling right. on the line. So, so when the when the when the big fish essentially comes by and bites the little fish, which is the bait, this flag comes up. And we come running over, and this is where Ooh, Austin's it, pulling. We're happy or sad? Nope. Put it back down. Nope. It looks oh, like fish. the bait's still on there. But but, this but. Is, see what we've done here today. If we got a we got a. 
basic tip up, okay? We came out this morning, you drill your holes, come out here and uh, just take a simple sounder, okay? You take this sounder and this, what this sounder is going to do is it's going to tell you the depth that you're fishing on. And then we just, you know, take the simple things. We just use a match. We use a match and that, that way we tie a match on the line. That way we know how deep we are. So we don't have to every time come out with the sounder and set it. And this is cheap. This is a dollar. You know, and these traps you can find for, for, you know, if you bargain shop, you can find these traps for $10 a piece. On most lakes, you're allowed five traps. So, you know, for literally $100, you're set for the year for fishing. So what we do is you just come here and you find your match. I got it, buddy. Okay, well, you, you just find your match, bring it up to the height that you have. Well, there's my match right there. And Austin's going to put this on the end for me. Can you turn over that way a little bit okay. so we can see you a little Austin's bit better? Come like this. Just hook okay, it right Okay, you hook that, you bend back. that over, hook it down. And now we're just waiting for the, for, uh, you know, big fish to eat little fish. And, uh, you know, everything's pretty, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do this. You, you can go buy baits right down the road, Newt's Bait Shop. They sell baits for 4 or $5 dollars a dozen. And, you know, you just come out, buy your bait, get yourself something good to eat, something warm, you know, something to keep your kids busy all day. Yep. And, uh, you know, when you bring them home, they go to bed early <laughs> after a hard day out on the lake. Yeah, and I, you know, I think the other thing we need to mention too is that the way that that flag is, is uh, turned down like that, for people who are not familiar with it, when the fish grabs that line and pulls, that flag pops up. Pops, pops right up. There's yeah. a little, there's a little mechanism on the end here. And what you do is, is this mechanism, this, this little thing, oh, as soon as the fish grabs and pulls it, this just flips it out, pushes this lever, flag goes up. Yeah. And you know, you just as long as you, you know, as long as you got good people and good conversation, you don't even need any of these flags. But I tell you what, fish makes it a lot better. Yeah, Aaron, you know, I, I can still remember the excitement when I used to ice fish with my uh, grandfather of those flags popping up. There's just nothing like it for a kid. No, there isn't. And, you know, that's that's why when you do stuff like this, you know, I, I can't, I always remember, you know, my uncle Donnie Haywood and my grandfather fishing right over here off of Eastman's Beach 30 years ago, you know, and I still get the same thrill every time a flag goes up. Of course, now that I have a five-year-old, I don't catch fish anymore. I just go fishing. Hey, what's your name? Marty. Yeah, did you go fishing today? Yeah, and who did you go fishing with? Sean and Kevin, Uncle Mike, and Nick. Did you catch any fish? Yeah. You did? You turn just a little bit more this way. There you go. See that lady over there? Yeah, that's perfect. Um, did you catch a big fish? Yeah. You did? Did you have fun? Yeah. Are you a little bit shy? Yeah, I'm a little bit. bit. But not too shy because you, you're you willing to talk to me yeah. when some other people wouldn't, right? Yeah. So what was your favorite thing today? Uh, fishing. Fishing. Well, thank you so much for talking to me, honey. Okay. Bye-bye. Viewing this young man. Your face looks familiar. I think you fished last year. Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. And what happened this year? How did you do? Um, I did well. You did? I didn't get on the board, but um, I caught some big fish, too. Yeah? What's your first name? Ben. Ben. I remember you were on the video we made last year. Yeah. It seems to me you've grown quite a bit taller since I saw you last. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, just turn a little bit this way. Now, um, did you fish with your dad or with your granddad, or who was with you today? Um, both my dad and my granddad. So. so it's like a family event for you, and is this something you do try to do every single year? Yes. Oh, good for you. Have you, you got nothing on the board here? Because I remember last year you did have something on the board. No, not, um, I haven't gotten anything on the board, but I caught one that was an inch longer than the second best one. It was wow. just, um, that one's uh, on the board lost weight since it got weighed in, so I didn't get that spot. But you had the most fun today with yeah. your dad and your granddad. That's the most yeah. important part. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ben, for talking to us. Thank you. And in front of the board with a very proud granddad here. What's your name, sir? Todd. Todd. And this is your grandson. Yes, Wyatt. Wyatt. Wyatt, did you do some fishing with your grandpa today? Yes. Okay. And uh, did you catch a big fish? Yes. Wow. And uh, did you enter into the competition? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And so what was your favorite part today of, of uh, doing all this fishing? 
It's okay. Just thinking about it. What did you like to do best? Catching them? Pull them Catching out of the water. them. Yeah, so it's fun to kind of pull them out of the water, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and you did that. Wow. And do you have anything on this board behind me here? Yes. No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, you would you would like to. So do you think you're going to come back and do this again with your granddad next year? Yeah. All right, Wyatt. Well, thank you for talking to us. Now, granddad here. Yes, sir. I think by the looks of the smile on your face, you had the most fun. Oh, I had a good time. Yeah. Just it's caught the wrong kind of fish. <laughs> <laughs> but you made memories today, didn't you? Oh, we sure did. Yeah. Yes, sir. With your grandson? Yes. Wyatt. Yeah. And your friends. <laughs> yep. Well, thanks for talking to me. Thank you. Now, Scotty, you look like you're... Uh, a professional fisherman here. What, what did you catch today? A perch and pickerel. Wow. Did you got anything on the board? No. No? But uh, what was your favorite part of uh, the whole thing today? Were you with some, uh, like, uh, relatives that yeah. helped you out? Yeah. Do they get you, do you, like, do you have to do all the hard work, like, lugging stuff around? Yeah. Yeah. So they bring you along and you got to kind of, like, run around and, and uh, bring stuff. And uh, who was with you today? My dad and his friends and my brother. All right. Did you catch some fish? Yeah. Did you catch a bigger one than your brother? Nope. No. So, did he catch a bigger one than you? Yep. Uh-oh. So, you think you're going to live that down? Yep. All right. Anything else you'd like to say? Nope. All right, Scotty. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, my name's Ken Laurian. Uh, yeah, and uh, I understand you've got a good-sized fish on this board. Yeah, I do. Want to point it out to us? Yeah. Right here. Right here, the black crappie. All right. Can you turn that way? Just let me get turn that way and look at that lady over there. Uh, now, how did you catch it? You got some secrets you want to share with us? I don't know. Just, just with some bait. Yeah. Put some bait down. Yeah. What time did you get out on the ice this morning? Um, about 6.30. Yeah. Yeah, 6.30. Oh. Well, good luck on that. Yeah. Winning the prizes. Looks good, yeah. Yeah. And Thanks. take care. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Hey everybody, how about a, a round of applause for Wayne and the rec department for setting this up. Here you go Wayne. Alright guys, I want to thank everyone for coming. We had 203 people into this year. Awesome. Uh, and we had a lot better fish this year than we've had ever, really. All, all the fish are a lot better. Um, so it was a good day. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank some of the sponsors. We got uh, Tumbledown Farms. We have Poor People's Pub, Naughty Pine, uh, Coyote Creek Outfitters, Kittery Trading Post, Woo! Newt's Trading Post, and um, I'm sure I'm missing other people. If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. But we're going to get going right off. We're going to start with the youth prizes first, uh, first and second. Then we'll do the adults. In the meantime, if anyone wants raffle tickets, but tickets for the auger. You can still buy them until we start calling them. All right? So we're going to start off with the youth rainbow trout. And second place, youth rainbow trout, Trent Watson. He's a regular. Good job, buddy. Got your prize to come. The guys are a little slow. You wait right here, buddy. The guys are a little slow with the prizes. What's the size on it? Who's the prize guy? What's the size on it? It was 15 inches, 1.345. Got it? First place, Youth Rainbow, uh, 1.36 pounds. It was 2 hundredths of a pound heavier than Trent. 16 inches, Tess Hicks. Nice job, kiddo. I'll let you take the fish. Nice little basket for you. And turn to the camera. Nice job. Oh, you first, yeah. 
<laughs> Second place, youth pickerel, 2.1 pounds. Another Watson, Lucas. Good job, buddy. Hang on right here for a minute. You need to learn from everybody else. There you go, buddy, and there's some bunch of stuff in the bucket for you, too. Okay? Good job. A little camera shy, I think. <laughs> First place, youth pick roll. 2.18 pounds. Again, it's four tenths of a uh, pound away. M uh, Mason Morgan. Good nice job, buddy. Good job. Here's that. Good job, bud. Come right around here, Mason, for us. Oh, they're taking pictures there. And then turn the other way. Look over there. Nice job. Yes, Second place, Crappie. Uh, 0.92 of a pound. Just under a pound. Gerard Scott. Jared Scott. Sorry, buddy. Nice job. Hang on one second. They'll be out. I promise you. They're coming. Nice job, buddy. Awesome. Good job, bud. Nice uh, job. Grab it. Hold it. Stuff inside the bucket, too. Thank you, buddy. Good job. First place, first place, crappy. 1.4 pounds. Uh, Brandon Truman. Second place, youth yellow pick yellow perch. Yellow pickerel. Uh, one pound. Brandon Truman again. Nice. Yeah, you got more of them. You're going to be all set. Got it? Good job, buddy. You're going to need to get your own sled now. <laughs> Maybe you'll win that. Next year. You got one in there. Uh, first place, you one and a quarter pound yellow perch, Hannah Delisle. Hey. You got to get it for him? Yep, yep. Okay. Nice job. Thank you. Dad, you have the trophy? Uh, you got the trophy? Wait first. Yellow. Go with yellow. Field it. Field it. Field it. Field it. Field it. Field it. Second place, yellow perch. Adult. 1.04 pounds. Bill Harvey. Second place adult. <laughs> Computer era. <laughs> so is this one right for a bit? No, it was it was right. We had Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey, turn this way. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Eight and a half, yep. <laughs> First place, adult yellow perch. 1.06 pounds. Bruce Marinell.
Second place, Adal Crappy. 1.62 pounds, Sean Mackle. First place, crappy adults. 2.16 pounds, Ken Lorian. If anyone wants a coffee, he's offering it. Second place, White Perch. Three quarters of a pound, Steve Thompson. That's a pump. Farmers at the pump. Yeah. We'll take it though. Who wants it? Me. You're gonna eat it, right? Yep. All right. Yes. First place, White Perch. 0.83 pounds, Bill Harvey. Oh, I thought I won her. <laughs> That's later. That's that other part. Oh, later. Okay. Part of the rock. Thank you. Second place pick roll. Jo Jonah Melanson, 2.675. Holy yeah. cow! First place, Billy Sanborn, 3.03 pounds. Second place, Adult Rainbow, 1.15 pounds, Dan Chick Jr. First place, Rainbow Trout. She jigged it up. She's all excited. Linda Young. Well, Wayne, it's the uh, end of the day, the board's empty, and uh, we've had a great day here. We had a lot of prizes, a lot of fun stuff with the kids and the families. What do you got to say? It was a good day. I'm glad it's over. But it was a good day and a great fundraiser. Um, everybody was awesome. A lot of people that we have year after year, same people come back. They look forward to this and um, thank all our volunteers here at the Rack because it takes a lot more, as you can tell, at the end of the day and when all the fish come in all at once to get everything in, weighed, and on the board by 4 o'clock. And, you know, all the fishermen were done right when they needed to be, so no one came in late or any of that. So it was really, really good. Yeah, well, you've had a lot of practice doing this. What would you say, six years now? Six years now, yep. And we're looking forward to next year? Looking forward to next year. we got a couple other uh, things up our sleeve we've already thought about for next year, but I'm definitely looking forward to next year. Okay, stay tuned.